Hey there, baseball fans. It's Ben, and I'm back opening old baseball cards for the junk years. Uh, particularly today, I've got quite an eclectic mix of random packs to open. We're going to run through these real quick. And looking for some of my favorite players, Sean Dunstan, Ryan Sandberg, Mark Grace, Nolan Ryan, also Hall of Famers, and also one person where we're like, whatever happened to that guy? And we'll try to learn more about them. So we're going to start off with 1989 score. Um, this is a year... That the second it's the score's second year in the baseball business so they had the lenticular kind of like uh fact from baseball history this design is not so bad I, I don't think at least baseball diamond in the middle there they were really focused on having like photo quality images so nothing pretty exciting about this set but the design's pretty good i think and 1956 was a year to remember because of make way for mickey mickey mantle um, let's see what if we get anything interesting in here. Don Sutton. Look how old he looks in that picture. Can you imagine something that that's like looks that old playing now? I just can't. It's twenty two year career. Look at that. Three hundred wins. Um, Thirty five hundred strikeouts. I mean, that's a pretty solid career. There's nothing wrong with that, Don Sutton. So hats off to you. Started off with kind of a lame pack, so 89 score, kind of a dud. Let's jump ahead to 1992 Top Stadium Club Series 1. They're focused on not just photo quality cards, but Kodak, uh, partnership with Kodak, so that's pretty cool. Um, this is the second year of Top Stadium Club. Top decided to enter the premier uh, card space, much like some of the other big brands after Upper Deck made this in the scene. I love these Top Stadium Club's cards that have the rookie baseball card from tops highlighted on the back i think that's just super cool uh, i always thought that has has been um the second year they actually just focused more on the photo because they didn't have the stripes anymore it's too bad that they for lenny webster that, that the best shot they had of him was some kind of like looking off camera profile shot there's a nice one of eric yelde you know you think since they're focusing on such good shots here that they would Get some action shots. Oh, there's Apollo Neal, so that's a good one. I'm going to put that aside. There's Jesse Barfield, which we learned about in our last uh, session here. Oh, there's Vince Coleman. I'll put that aside. Such an interesting character, that Vince Coleman. Randy Velarde. Oops. Sorry about dropping you there, Randy. All right. So a couple interesting ones in there. Let's jump ahead to 1991 Fleer. The same year. Completely different look and feel. This is the banana set, as I like to call it. Um, it's really too, really easy to talk down on these cards because look at them. Um, I don't know, in some ways I kind of like it though. If, it's funny, if you compare this to a 1990 Donruss, which we'll do right over here, it's, it's a very similar design. That's Fleer almost kind of like just stole it. There's a Mark McGuire. We'll put that aside. I do love the, uh, there's our second Rance Molinix. I do love the ProVision insert series out of Fleer. I always found them to be cooler and better, uh, better execution than the Donruss Diamond Kings. But. And here's the junkiest of the junk packs, 1988 Don Russ. Just a mess of a card set, I think. <laughs> this design cracks me up every time I see it. Plus, they had the worst centering issues of any anything I've seen. There's Dale Murphy, a good one. Julio Franco and Jimmy Key. All right. So far, nothing to write home about. This is 1990 Don Russ, and you'll see what I mean if you aren't already aware. Some people will call this orange around the outside. I think it looks red, but uh, I guess it depends on who you are. Comes with our Carlos Strzemski puzzle pieces. There's Jerome Walton, but like, look at these two together. And tell me there wasn't some borrowing of the design there. <laughs> oh, there's a Mike Schmidt, all time great. Put that aside for you.
Pete Incavilia. There's Roger the, Roger the Rocket Clemens. There we go. Uh, jumping into the premium sets again. This is 1991 Leaf Series 2 coming out of the Leaf Don Rush camp. I think these are pretty darn ugly cards. The design on these, I never really was a huge fan of. I'm not sure if they're just trying to make it look like they're photographs that are in a photo album, but just thought it looked kind of silly. Photography is much better here. This is another Jesse Barfield. And it rains, it pours Jesse Barfield cards. It's a great picture of Pascal Perez. Jumping ahead one year to Leaf 1992, Series 2. I think these were better looking cards here. They also included the black gold inserts uh, with every pack, I believe. Just a better card design. Imagery was still good. Kevin Mass that we learned about in a previous session. George Bell. Anderson, Anderson getting down on one knee. Albert Bell bunting, which is crazy as a designated here in Power Hitter that he's bunting. Going backwards to the first year of uh, Top Stadium Club, 1991 Series 2. And then not really much change with the design from year one to year two of this set, except for those. You'll see these stripes down here go away and are replaced by the name underneath the logo. Here's a Tom Gladden for you. Get that aside. Grime Dog, what a good shot of him. Chuck McElroy. I gotta tell you, this hasn't been quite the stellar session here. Maybe these last two packs from Redeemer. This is the first uh, edition of Clear Ultra from 1991. Uh, these cards get a lot of flack for not being that great, but I haven't really liked this set. Uh, nice foil stickers there. They just, they open well. They they slide through your hands well. They really have some decent photography. Um, they're not glossy, so some people might not like that. But for me, that just means they don't stick stick together, which is a plus. Damon Berryhill. You know, whatever happened to that guy? As a Cubs fan, I don't know. I'd love to follow up on that. So let's find out. Dan Gladden. Wow, we are just striking out time after time. And finally, the first edition of Donruss Triple Play, the 1992 set, which I happen to love because it really made baseball card collecting for the kids as it was intended. Oh, look at this insert included here. Steve Sachs, Gallery of Stars, much like the Diamond King set. Nice. There's Mark McGuire. Plus it's a small set, so there are a lot more stars to be had. Ken Griffey Jr. flipping his bat around. Put that aside. The action shots. Gary Sheffield doing a little dance. <laughs> Move on, Steve Avery, we'll put him aside. Whitaker, great player there. So there you go. That's our full uh, packs there. And let's look up Damon Burial. Barry Hill, the Cubs catcher. Power hitter. He only played in 17 games in 1990, hitting 189 from California. So let's see what happened to him. Damon Berryhill, there he is. He's a current manager for the AAA Gwinnett Stri Stripers. There you go. Played 10 seasons for the Cubs, the Braves, and the Red Sox, and the Reds, and the Giants. And uh, let's see what kind of stats he has. Switch hitter. Started in 87, finished in 97. So nice long career. Hit 240 with 47 home runs and 257 RBIs. Nothing fancy to talk about there. His career. 
Your starting catcher for division winning 89 Cubs. That's when I most remember him. And he had that great season. Moving on, moving on. Let's get on to signed a minor league contract with A's in 97 to continue to play. But he uh, was released and that kind of ended it. So then he went on to coaching. Minor league coacher, coaching. And uh, so now he is the. As of 2016, so I wonder if he's still there with the, with the Gwinnett Braves. But in any case, it looks like he made a made a life out of that baseball career. So that's always the question. You know, these baseball careers in the majors are so short. So even if they play 10 years, what happens after that? Because they finish up when they're you know, 30 or 35. So it looks like Damon Burial had a, a good turn as a coach then. So good for him and good for you, Barry Hill. Hats off to you for making the big show for so long and doing so well afterwards. I'll see you guys next time.